I just I wonder just if wonder he would have been, been on their side. side. That's all. That's all. The, only the only reason you have time to think about that is because you depend on someone else. It's not... You don't have to do a single thing, and you're provided with food, clothes, a home. I've had no time to think on such ridiculous thoughts. Would Dad have been happy with them? I don't care. He died holding some lofty sense of righteousness, leaving all his responsibilities on us. All I was trying to say was... Isn't it about time you grew up and acknowledged our situation? Right now, you're useless to me. All you do is eat away at my life. Sorry. That was uncalled for. I'm just... Really tired. I'll be eating I'll be dinner, dinner out from tomorrow, tomorrow on. <laughs> I just remember. Give me an answer. Uh, hey, wait! Hey, this doesn't look good! Okay, I'm this finished. This is it. Correct! No way. Thanks! Nice going! Got nothing. Are we out of luck? It's no fair his palace is up in the sky. If only we could contact the real Kanashiro, hmm? What do you want? Nothing in particular. I just saw you all together here. Huh, that's so. You seem to be having quite a bit of trouble. So you're here to check up on us? You may be the student council president, but when it comes to what we do, you're useless. Useless? Right now, you're useless to me. All you do is eat away at my life. To be frank, yes. Just stay on your high horse and watch. Or do you want to eavesdrop, since you're so good at it? So you wish to get in contact with Kanashiro? That is what you were just discussing, weren't you? It seemed you just needed to find out where he is. Hey, you don't gotta answer her honestly! So, you're just, you're just the good just girl type to push over. Right now, you're useless to me. What was that? Fine. I'll help you meet Kanashiro. What exactly is she planning on doing? She had a dead serious look in her eyes. Does this mean she has an idea as to where Kanashiro may be? I highly doubt that. I didn't like her stern face. Uh, what is up with her? Way too many people here. <sighs> We're never gonna find her. Hello, it's me, Makoto Nijima. Just stay on the phone and listen. Make sure you record the call as well. Huh? Who is it? Do you guys know Kanashiro? What? 
idiot! What's she doing? I heard I could find someone named Kanashiro if I came to Central Street. Central Street? She's being too rash. What are you getting at? He's blackmailing the students of Shujin Academy, is he not? Tell him if he doesn't want me talking to the police about it, he better agree to meet with me. You got a death wish or something? He says he'll meet you. Get in. You better be taking me to Kanashiro. He said get the fuck in! Wasn't that... It's the guys that messed with us the other day. So they were connected to Kanashiro. Is she still on? Contact Kanashiro-san. Tell him we got a good one. Where are we going? Yeah, I guess we can't do anything to her if she's Kanashiro-san's customer. Hey, I asked a question here. Where are we going? We gotta go after them. Ryuji, get a taxi. I'll... Okay, I've got their license plate. Their sketching skills have come in handy. Ah, shit, he ignored me! Damn it, I said stop! Ryuji! Hurry up and get in! So, you're seriously the student council president of Shujin. You know what happens to anyone who snaps at me, don't you? So, whose number is this? Your boyfriend? What in the world? Who the fuck are you? Nijima-san! What the hell'd you do to her? Oh, I get it. You got followed, you dumb shits! Holy! That bag you saw the other day, the crocodile one, how much was it? Mm, about three million. Ah! <gasps> For real? Better thank those guys. What? I'm royally pissed right now. Can you tell? You know how spending money relieves stress? It's you goddamn brats sniffing around like dogs and barging in here like you own the joint. See this empty space? I'm so pissed that now there's a three million yen gap here. It pisses me off even more if I don't fill it up. I'm a perfectionist. So, good luck. What is that supposed to mean? Come on, you all look so tense. I think I'll call it debauchery of minors at a club. So, can I send this to your school? Uh, that's... Oh, damn, I got booze and cigs in the shot. Maybe some drugs, too. Ah, this is so hilarious. I feed on dumb shits like you. Understand, pretty little student council president. Now listen up. Run your mouth to the police. And I'll break all of you, starting with your families. I want to give you the usual month. But, well, you have such a large group here. Three weeks. Bring three million yen by then, no less. Summer bonuses are around the corner, you know. It'll be easy if you beg your mommies and daddies. <laughs> now get out of my sight. I'm about to have some fun. What? To hell with that! Don't bother with him. Makoto's safety is more important right now. That was a very stupid move, Makoto. I'm so sorry. I didn't mean to drag you in like this. <laughs> For real. I was stupid. I must agree. You should have easily imagined this happening. Yeah, that was a very stupid move. Hey, Yusuke. 
I was so caught up in trying to be useful. All right, enough of the blame game. What's done is done. I'm gonna cause trouble for Sis, too. Sis? My older sister has a commendable job, and she's a much more remarkable person than me. A lot happened after we lost our father three years ago. So it's just us living together. But I'm still a child. So all I am is a burden to her. Hmm. And that... I just wanted to be useful in some way to someone. And that's why you were so reckless? I just wanted to be useful in some way to someone. I get, I get it because everyone pretty much, because everyone, because recently a certain so, someone with blonde hair called her useless. And, and a certain sister called her useless too. I can understand that. But still, stupid! You know, I might not get your whole situation, but ain't it a bit off saying that you're useless to her? It's the truth, though. In particular, I have to apologize for what happened to you. Huh? Now that I think on it, the truth about Kamashita must have been covered up by the whole school. I had my suspicions, but I couldn't do anything about it. No, I didn't do anything. Had I cared enough, I could have done something. <sighs> People like me must really be what others call scum of the earth. Real scum wouldn't call themselves that. Huh? I'm the same. It's just like you said before. I was closest to Shiho, but I didn't do anything. Besides, Kamoshida's the one to blame. Shiho understands that, and I do too. Takamaki-san. You didn't have a place to belong either. Isn't that right? Me either? We won't let anyone fall victim again. Now, what should we do from here? I'll do something about the money. So can we please just drop the case with Kanashiro? No can do. We're all caught up in this. We can't have you rushing things on your own anymore and making the situation worse. If only we could do something about that bank. Ryuji! Bank? Dumbass! You big dumbass! Oh, right! The bank! She isn't useless at all! She may be our key in! Hear me out, you guys. Our key in? What do you mean? A cat? Um, are you all okay? We've become Kaneshiro's targets. That means we've become customers of Kaneshiro's bank! I see. The reason why we couldn't enter before was because we weren't considered his customers. And wouldn't you say that she in particular is a special customer? Let's take her with us. She is responsible for our current situation. Whoa, I don't follow this at all. She risked her life doing something so reckless. At the very least, she has the right to know. Won't you come with us? What? Wait, to where? Yeah, where are we going? Beats me. Oh, you guys are all idiots. Just take us to the metaverse, please. A canine? It's Fox. Be quiet. The shadows are going to notice us. A monster cat? I'm not! That's Morgana, the cat that was in his bag. This is what happens when we come here. That voice... Takamaki-san? Where are we? We're inside Kaneshiro's... Uh, well, the world inside his heart. What? It's another reality in which Kaneshiro's distorted desires have materialized. Another reality? Floating in the air. Th this is reality? <sighs> My goodness. <sighs> I I'm sorry, it's just... But since this really exists, I can't doubt it. A reality that one's heart shows. I is it like the application of optical illusions in social cognitive psychology? That's 
something we have no idea about. It means she. It, it means is how he sees the world, like how, and how he perceives it. That's it. I see. So stealing one's heart, that may be like overriding their cognition. Obviously, yes. I think I kind of get the logic behind it. Ain't she more amazing than you? Kind of. Somewhat. No, what? Yes. We're about the same. Not. Then does that mean there's an ATM version of myself somewhere in this world, too? Perhaps. Regardless, we can change Kaneshiro's heart and make him confess if we steal his treasure. If it all goes well, that is. <laughs> we'll make it go well. Everyone will notice us for sure if we take someone like Kaneshiro down. Our justice will also become resolute. Think we'd be able to give courage to those in need if it happens? For the sake of those in need, huh? You sound like my father. Your father? No, that don't mind me. You want to go to that bank, right? Let's go then. If I've become a customer of that bank, then they'll have to let me in. For real? It came to us. It's just as I calculated. You know how you can use your card to get into banks during after hours? I thought that I'd be able to get in, since I have the same identity as such customers. I'm kind of Shiro's source of revenue after all. Oh, that makes sense. Wow, this place is huge. I rarely gotta go to the bank, so this is making me kind of nervous. Being in a bank with costumes like these is so obvious. We are totally robbers. You got that right. It seems there will be a lot of shadows from here on. Huh? What's that about? Enemies attack us here. I see. I've... Self-defense won't do much good against shadows. But then again, it's better than nothing. We have to go in from the front, don't we? I'm an honorary customer. So I better act like one. I will be useful for you guys. Come on, let's go. Well then, let's head inside. Shall we go? What business do you have here? I had a feeling this would happen. Come at us. No, no, wait! She's one of Kaneshiro's customers. I'd like to speak with the bank president. Excuse me, but do you have an appointment? I need to talk to him. Now let me through. Let him pass. That voice. It's Kaneshiro. Yo, banks have presidents? Yes, but not the political sort. In theory. Could I eat with this? Unauthorized injury, property damage, and other disturbances. That comes to three million yen in total. You're here regarding that, correct, Miss Beautiful President? It must be quite tough gathering so much money. I'd be willing to give you a loan, you know. You gonna call it off then? No, a loan. The interest rate is 10% a day. 
10% interest a day. Um, uh, that means uh, one day is... Three, three, th 300,000 yen a day. It's 300,000 yen. Exactly. There's no need to be alarmed. I have a more manageable option for people like you. That was your plan from the beginning, wasn't it? Quite the impressive insight, Nijima-san. Or should I say, the younger sister of the beautiful prosecutor, Sai Nijima. How do you know that? Please don't underestimate our intelligence network. My, what wonderful goods have come falling into my lap. Don't be ridiculous! Young women are such great assets. They lack strength, be it social, physical, or mental. It's as if they only exist to be devoured by the strong. That just might be the rule since the dawn of history. You truly are despicable. You better be ready, Kaneshiro. We're gonna snatch your treasure from you. Don't make me laugh, you petty thieves. My citadel has the highest security installed in it. Anyone will do anything for money. I'll rob you of your lives as easily as I breathe air. <laughs> Get them. Oh, crap. Bring it on. It's Mr. Kaneshiro's orders. Eliminate them at once. Okay, this will be a tough battle, so... Must, what do we do, Cesar? Bring it on, on. On your knees. You're on the floor. You're the best panther. Let's go. Eliminate them. Go. Okay, guys. Bubble, 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 bubble. All right. Persona. I see you there. We the fire. Ah, oh, slipping, sleep. I don't need this. I need this. At least I took you this out. My other self. I lend it. Boom. The first squad's been taken down. Send it back up. The target is still alive. We must deal with them at any cost. Oh, you gotta be kidding me. Persona. Might as well do it again. Huh. Spread the damage now. Go. Let's go. Bro, then. Persona. Change your persona now. Set to go. The target is currently stuck here. We need more backup. Don't let them escape. We must take them down. Again. What the? There's no end to them. Have they really been hired with money? We're in trouble at this rate. Let's run. Go, go, go! Why did the security guards turn into monsters? And what were those supernatural powers? Could those have been the personas you mentioned? Does now really look like the time to be asking that? We need to retreat. Makoto, make sure you don't get separated from us. Hurry, Joker! Run! <sighs> There's no end to them! Guys! You seem to be in quite a pickle. How dare you sneak around, Kaneshiro? Those would be my words. However, I do thank you for providing me with such wonderful goods. It's time you disappear. <gasps> Managing a bank is tough as it is. So it's my policy to kill clients who are more trouble than they're worth. 
Having one impertinent brat disappear is enough to set an example in that other world. Please, stop! Oh, I wouldn't damage an asset like you. They're dead men walking, but you'll be just fine. Your sister is quite a beauty, though. I'll make sure to make her my personal slave. Once I get bored, I'll just sell her off. Oh, poor sis. She could have been successful, if only her younger sister wasn't so dumb. My sister has nothing to do with this! Then you better start taking customers tomorrow. All you gotta do is endure it, and do as you're told. Endure it. Do as I'm told. You'll earn three million yen in no time. Although your life and everything along with it will be a complete wreck by then. <laughs> I've been listening to you go on and on. Shut your damn mouth, you money grubbing asshole! Hello. Have you decided to tread the path of strife? Yes. Come to me. Very well. Let us proceed with our contract at once. <laughs> I am thou. Thou art I. You have finally found your own justice. Please, never lose sight of it again. This memorable day marks your graduation from your false self. <laughs> Don't get all cocky just because I normally behave myself. I am done playing nice! Let's go, Johanna! Full throttle! The enemy's agitated. Take them down and make an opening. Persona! Oh, yeah! Wreck up! I'll throw a red peppy. But he absorbs ice damage. Trying to unlock my secret Turn. weapon. I got this. Much thanks. Thanks. Boom. Bring it on. Let's go. 
I'm gonna make sure you get knocked on your feet. Take this! Access to nuclear damage helps. Now, let's get out of here. We know how to get in now. Our objective's been accomplished. But how are we getting out? There's only one exit, right? So, you're totally the fist of the Phantom Star now, huh? Do you want to get smacked? I'm going on ahead, so follow me. Damn. Okay, we have a path. Get in. So you'll stand against me no matter what. Very well. I'll wait for you all. There's no escape in reality. Nor will you break through the security system here. It doesn't matter what you do. You can kiss your bright futures goodbye. Oh, yeah. Man, talk about wild. That was no Aikido. That was some hardcore ass whooping. I am so not pissing her off. I feel like she'll rip off my arm. She does exude that aura. Oh, stop it. This is the most exhausted I have ever gotten these past few years. But it felt pretty great. I never thought I'd become part of the Phantom Thieves I was after. Sis might faint if she found out. You mentioned her earlier. She's a prosecutor for the district. And she's investigating the Phantom Thieves. Wait, ain't that bad? No need to worry. A normal investigation would never lead them to a world like that. Then again, it must have been fate for this to happen. What do you mean? I can't be like my sister. I had a feeling that there'd come a time when we wouldn't see eye to eye anymore. I'm thankful to have a sister who works so hard, but... There are times I feel sorry for her, too. And after hearing my persona's voice, I clearly understand how I feel now. It appears you're not as reserved as you make yourself seem. I was just doing whatever the adults told me to. Won't she be perfect as our advisor? She's fearless and has a sharp mind. Sounds good to me. We've needed someone like that for a while now. I'd be honored if I can help out. We had way too much testosterone anyway, so I feel much better. It's from Kaneshiro. He's reminding us of our debt. So the Kaneshiro over here doesn't know what happened inside the palace. That's right. But his palace will be affected if the real Kaneshiro's cognition changes. We can't be lax. Seems it'd be best to avoid unnecessary contact with him until then. Three weeks left, huh? There's that security system, too. But if we pull this off, it'll definitely be great! We'll crush him like a fly. I'll make him regret making me angry. Anyways, let's begin our operation tomorrow. First, we need to secure a route to the treasure, like always. You guys are finally starting to get used to this. I'll be waiting for the call to meet up. And the Phantom on a sea horse ride. Oh, <laughs> okay, that's awesome. No such things. And for the record, I am most certainly not wanted. Honestly, I'm mostly surprised how you knew how to ride a bike at all, Nichiman Senpai. You got a license? A regular one? Yeah. 
going to give a handsome one too. That aside, mind if I change the topic for a moment? What's the matter? Sorry, everyone. I'm not in any position to be saying that. I truly, I, I truly do. However, I must apologize. It was my actions that dragged you all into this mess. On top of that, I misunderstood your true intentions the whole time. If only I could have realized what was was having to suicide too. Oh come on, you don't we don't need to talk about that now. It seems you, there are still lingering issues in everyone's minds. Now's not the time to be talking about that that shit though. We don't we gotta be doing something about Kanashiro? He's right. Very well. I understand. Anyway, I will do my best to make sure I don't slow you all down. Well, we were at odds with each other until just a while ago. But Ryuji's totally right. We need to work together to overcome this. Nice. Oh. Oh. Okay. Boom! shaped persona huh you know I can turn into a car too so it's like I feel a sense of familiarity <laughs> maybe your persona uh, no I'm supposed to be human well motorcycles are nice too but it can't carry large numbers of people I really am special after all huh Gary no Take somewhere? Something just crossed my mind. And it's no use. I can't remember at all. <sighs> eh, there's nothing I can do about it if I can't remember. I need to concentrate on Kaneshiro for now. Unlike you guys, Makoto's clever, so we can expect great things from her. But man, you really do have something special. I just got lucky. Looks like I better step up my game, too. All right. I know. After we deal with Kaneshiro, I should consult her about mementos, too. I'm sure Makoto's brain can... Hello? Ugh. We got Yusuke, and now Makoto. This guy has quite the luck. Could there be some reason for it? Nah, that can't be. I'm sorry for asking you here like this. Oh, no, it isn't a problem. I actually find it refreshing to be asked to the student council room. 
Although it's somewhat nerve-wracking as well. I think I'm a bit nervous myself. Anyway... Um... I wanted to apologize. I'm... really sorry for everything. What do you mean? You know, how I blamed you for Kamoshida's sexual harassment? Well, I wanted to apologize for that. I've honestly been meaning to this whole time. To Kamaki-san. I realized later that Shiho was calling out for me. And I wasn't there to help her. I didn't want to admit my own guilt. So I took it out on you, Nijima-senpai. I'm very sorry. Hey, there is no need for that. In fact, I think the two of us are pretty similar. Huh? I was unable to save anyone. Not Suzui-san, and not any of Kaneshiro's victims. I kept telling myself I wasn't at fault because I was simply following orders. But that was all a lie. I felt like I would be admitting my own worthlessness had I not shifted the blame off of myself. Fear of that worthlessness was probably why I acted so harshly toward you and your friends. I'm deeply sorry as well. I see. In that case, wanna call it even? Even? <laughs> You're right. How about we leave this conversation in the past? Mm-hmm. <laughs> oh, but one more thing. You're not worthless, Nijima-senpai. You were a bit reckless, but you're the reason we found a way into Kaneshiro's palace. And you even obtained the power to change people's hearts. You did that all yourself, Nijima-senpai. <laughs> that way of thinking is very much like you, Takamaki-san. When you confronted me about Suzui-san, I realized how dishonest and small I was. You're always very direct. That's what helped me finally realize the error of my ways. It turns out I'm a little slow on the uptake at times. Hey, can I call you on? Um, yeah. I... I'm going to do the same. M M Makoto. Ah, that's so embarrassing. <laughs> How about we get something to eat before we go home for the night? Oh, I know a place. There's a crepe shop at Central Street that totally stuffs their crepes. Do you want to split one? Mmm, let's each get a whole one, and then we can go half and half on those. Oh, yes, let's. After school today, right? I believe the courtesy should be shown to the, those who are senior. Oh yeah, we should, we should, uh, should we call Nijima-san like Nijima-senpai? No, you should fall. just treat me the same way as you would everyone else. We're honored. Ain't that too formal? I already just call her by name. For real, that doesn't happen. It's, it's the secret between us girls. Damn it, that sounds like fun. I'll you can call me by my first name. Don't need to hesitate. Very well. I. I. I should. Hey, are you listening? I better go, 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 go. I have a feeling. I have a feeling. I have a feeling. Pay attention when someone's talking to you. I feel murderous intent. Ow! Damn! Arr! Pay attention. Dang it! Oh, he is so gonna pay for that! Oh, we started before! Okay. We better do this as soon as possible. You know what? I'm calling everyone to the hideout. Hey! I'll stop from there. Let's head to the Maverick. Yeah. Deal. 
curious, huh? Well, I've come up with a super cool idea. Lady On will surely swoon for me if I... Sorry for the wait. So, what's up, Morgana? Supposedly you'll swoon. From what? Well... It's something I've been giving a lot of thought lately. Now that we've all gained some experience in battle, I think it'd be good for us to work on our finishers. Our finishers? Yeah. I guess if we're going to keep fighting, we ought to do it with style. Right? Right? So I came up with just the idea. It's maybe my best one yet. And we can definitely pull it off if you play a part in it, Lady On. Me? Well, okay. What do you need me to do? Now that's our Lady On. Quick on the uptake. What I had in mind was... And that should do the trick. Really? So is that a no? Well, it's not that I don't want to. It's more like, isn't your idea sorta impossible? Even in the metaverse? Well, if his has a idea with uh, a idea with swoon, I I think it's impossible. What was that? Star Joseph gave us Star Glimmering. So. I never imagined that I would end up helping the Phantom Thieves. Things would get interesting if my sister ever found out. There's no time to be getting sentimental here. Yes, I understand. I do have one request about all of this, though. Can you teach me how to be a phantom thief? Like, about the metaverse, for example? Simply put, that world is formed of a person's cognition. There, you can change people's hearts. Yeah, I've gathered that much just from going there once. You only need a name, a location, and a distortion. After the first entry, the palace is bookmarked. But the method of transportation still eludes me. I mean, it's a smartphone navigation app. You only need a name, a location, and a distortion. After the first entry, the palace is bookmarked. You really just make it sound like an ordinary app. Aren't there any dangers associated with it? Don't worry about that. We've already been a bunch of times and... It... That's not what I mean. It's a navigation app, right? Couldn't someone easily access our history on the server? Wait, why are you looking at me like that? Has nobody thought of this before? Uh... Uh... Surprisingly... No. I... Now she's catching me off guard, too. And we don't know where it came from, right? It showed up on my phone without any input from me. Do you know anything about it? Uh... Along those man? What? I don't fully understand, but... I don't think we have to worry about people accessing our data. From what I can tell, this app is incredibly special. It wasn't made by any ordinary means. True. An app that allows... I don't fully understand, but... I don't think we have to worry about people accessing our data. I want to tell her the truth, but it's tough to explain to Igor that, I that Igor has been sitting at the app. True. An app that allows you to enter another world isn't exactly commonplace. You to enter another world isn't exactly commonplace. Well, Sis doesn't know who the Phantom Thieves are, so I suppose our information is safe for now. We're still learning things ourselves. I hope your sharp wit can help us with that. Thank you. I'll do my best. More importantly, we need to stop him from releasing those photos. If the public gets a hold of them... I could only imagine what would happen then. Come on, we just gotta take care of him before the time limit. We'll bounce back from this. Plus, people will really start admiring us if we can manage to take this bastard down. Yeah, this is the perfect opportunity. We have to succeed no matter what. All right. We only have three weeks, huh? Let's see okay, if we let's go. I think I'll save there from here on, folks.
So what am I gonna be called? You all were using code names, weren't you? You're quite perceptive. This time's a hard one. Maybe something like uh shoulder pads? Ain't happening! Why in the world did you focus on that? I refuse to be called that. What about Ryder? Sounds too much like a smuggler. Next. Fixer? I'm not a mastermind, though. Won't you give me something better to work with? She reminds me of an empress. You got anything, Joker? I would say queen. Whoa, I totally see it. It fits so well that I'm at a loss for words here. Queen? <laughs> it has a nice ring to it. I like it. Let's go with that. Now then, could you explain to me the strategy for this mission? Uh... Strategy? Uh-oh. You don't have one? Wait, the Phantom Thieves were acting without any plans? Uh, that's a hard question to answer. Uh, we pretty much look around the area. I provide navigation when needed. And then, uh... If we'd run into shadows, we'd beat the shit out of them. Very well, then. I feel like I'll be useful for sure. Seems my role is to be the brain of this team. I'll analyze Mona's information and give out orders. Any objections? No, none Queen! I bet Skull's definitely the type that'll be under a girl's thumb. Mona, will you begin navigating us? <sighs> yes, Queen! <sighs> Him too, it seems. Indeed. Okay, I'm gonna end this part I'll here. This. Uh, by the way, I'd like to come and say I really love Makoto's persona. Awesome. Let's do it. I'll see you guys later.